somebody died there. Somebody important to a lot of people died there. Okay, here we are with part two. special. Yes, I am. Alright, here we are with part two. Continue where we left off. I'm trying to make a book rest. You're trying to make a what? Book rest. It's my chair. I'm trying to get arrested. Smooth. So now we are in the jungle. We are actually playing without the cutscenes going on. Yay! Now we've got to find our backpack. It's just right here. Up in a tree. And I like dirt. Ah, so dang. I would love this knot from a tree. No, you wouldn't. Offer after this train. Third time's a charm, everybody. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Driving my backpack, leave me alone. The backpack is on the branch pointing east on that tree, right? Walk along the branch and get it. No, it's on the be careful not to fall. You should be able to grab your backpack if you hang from the branch by pressing the action That's button. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I keep forgetting to push the action button. Don't judge me. <coughs> That's how it's done. Judge, judge, judge. Judge you. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. Yep. Yeah, with your help. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. Really? After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy Tranquilizer gun. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. Mm. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Which sucks. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. Balls. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment. Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily weight. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. There'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death bill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. Send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling the method thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. Real one-man army. Relax. With a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time.
time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Steve. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As an American comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Payne? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserve save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss who got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be what serving as Fox's it? mission uh, advisor. Uh, she also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? What? That's right. It's me. Uh, Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. <laughs> you can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No. I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the time. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No. It had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you are looking for a reason to fight. You are a natural-born fighter. But you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People are the ones who dictate the mission. Then who does? The time. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. 
So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the time. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Thank you. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major. The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a Permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need me to fight some battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Right over there, 
know the guy at work, John? Huh? There's a guy at work named John. Yeah. And uh, he was talking to me the other day, and he goes, he said something about the army or whatever, or when you, uh, when you should be, uh, like, when you're legally separated from your parents is like at age 24. I was like, sweet, that sucks. Like, I just really wasn't listening to him. I looked at one of the customers behind me. I really shouldn't have said it, but I go, he is your daily source of useless information. And they kind of laughed. I was like, I really shouldn't have said that. Maybe you should. I don't even know if the camera's picking your voice up because you're speaking way too low. Uh, oh, is this the cutscene? No, it's not the cutscene. It, it is a cutscene, but I don't know what I was thinking about. Now we just gotta be so stoked that we don't get caught here. That's kind of tricky. Can I play? Hold on, I'll just play in a minute. I'm going to train all these. Oh, R1. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. This game is great, though. I love the action in it. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Yeah, this is when they talk about the camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Wait. Almost came to 100. It's been a minute. <laughs> you can see how effective your camouflage is like, by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. Yeah. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? I'll do. Did you like this game at all? It's okay. Now, there's some really good things in this area coming up. Okay, I see you guard. I want to trank him from way back here. I hope. I don't have a laser sight or anything, so. You got an actual sight, so. Oh, one shot. Perfect. There's something here. I forgot what it was. Bug juice. That's what I thought it was. It sometimes works good. Especially if you don't have bugs around. Later in the later in the game there'll be traps laid laid around like in the jungle, so aren't you gonna get the cyber? Yeah. You might have to end up getting closer to the camera. Eh. Okay. So I can barely hear you myself. Did I miss that part? Yes I did. There's something back here and it's very useful. Uber, 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 like a million times Uber. Useful. Yes, it is. What do you want me to do with cold chicken? I don't know. I don't want to waste it, but then again, I don't want to eat it. Try to hear something. There it is. It's not for a rifle, baby. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's SVD say for? It says it right here in the guide. Snake. There's 
There's some snakes that's good and some that's not. I wish we could find the three snakes that we want to find. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be really epic. Yeah, it would. I got liquid once. Really? Yeah. Then I died. It was gay. I think it was liquid. It might have been solid. I hope that one guy's not awake. He's not. They don't, they don't fall asleep and like they get past. Okay. You might want to equip your bed now because there's no other bed. Yeah. So, but that's not for off of work. I'm sad. I don't know. I don't know. What? Sad. Uh, you need smart paint. Obviously.
Yeah, he runs across the bridge like a little sissy. Like way, way, couple way ambulance. How can I help you, Governor? Some dirtbag, dirtbag from the Attorney General's office has dared to mention the word jail. Oh, I got him to the rope. Yeah, you can chop all those ropes off and the bridge won't fall. Really? I've done it before. I, I want to make sure there's nothing in that area. There's an XM1 at uh, 61 under the bridge. I think. That's what's coming up. Did you say the XM1? Yeah. Okay, that's coming up pretty soon right here, I think. This? Like that, I was getting ready to say that that will happen if you're not careful. I'm very far from careful when I play this thing. I see it. How do you get under there? You go around and you go left. Like, you pass it. That's yeah. so. Use your sniper rifle. Shoot him in the back of the You're right. That's your left. I know. There's not a little bit of Too bad I don't have a pistol. You can grab and just let it start. Yeah. Just hold the circle. And just you you hold have to have nothing to put right. No, you, you can have something to put. You can have anything that has a safety seat. Oh! Right.